Hello everyone, Matthew the Scone here, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Last time we tracked down the village elder Sahashrala, and in this episode, we are going to be... You no, know, I didn't mean to open up my inventory. We are going to be taking this little... this pendant from the Eastern Palace, so let's not waste any time and head right into the dungeon. <clears throat> the Eastern Palace. I figured since I just got off of work, I figured I might as well work, just record an episode just so I can get it done and over with. But yeah, you know how it is with me. You want to get these episodes up as quick, as quick as possible. Um, I think I might record an episode tomorrow when I get home from work because I gotta work again tomorrow. I did not mean to go on that switch again. You can die. You can die, and you can die. Get more money. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, I hate these stupid things. I think I want to go around to the left here. Oh, wait, no, it just takes back down. Okay. Okay. I think I want to go this way first. Get a hard wall in that process. There's a big chest in there that has the dungeon the dungeon item, but we'll be getting that later. After we get a, another certain key for it. These little skeleton dudes can be very tricky, so I'd recommend taking them out, trying to take them out with the boomerang instead of the, uh, instead of the sword, because it goes much, because the process goes much quicker. Even though they take a lot of hits, they can go out pretty quickly. I wanted to grab that repeat. Come here. Die. I said die. 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 I said die. Thank you. Okay. I believe this here is the dungeon map. Yep! You get the map. Use it to see your current position in the rest of the dungeon. I'm gonna go get the map here. Only two floors, not too bad. Okay. <clears throat> go up and around. Yada yada yada. Now I think we want to go toward the other end, which I think will probably take us down toward this section here. Die, 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 die. You can all go die. Now the little thing about these little skeleton dudes, if you can get them at least trapped in a corner, if they can go anywhere, you can take them out quite easily. Uh, anything more? No. Oh jeez, I hate this room. These freaking skeleton dudes are annoying. Ah, I can't even hit one of them. Because yeah, if you hit them with a pot or anything else, then they'll die in one hit. So you just gotta time it right, and hopefully you'll get them. Unfortunately, I was unlucky with this guy. He survived, so he's gonna die. And we get a useless bomb for him, which we probably won't use in this dungeon. And we get the compass. You can pinpoint the lair of the evil dungeon master. And I'll also pinpoint that big chest in the center of the room there. And like I said before, there's a, there's a, there's a, the chest in the middle of the room has the dungeon item in it, but we can't get that yet unless we have a, a certain key first, so. This little stone here allows you to talk with Sahasrala telepathically, so let's see what he has to say. Link, it is I, Sahasrala. I can talk to you telepathically when you touch these tiles. I have advice for you. The treasure hidden in this palace will help you defeat armored foes. That's a pretty helpful tip. Uh, now, one thing you can note is that you jump off these ledges here, you can go into this little pot, and down here, you can find fairies. Pretty useful, isn't it? These little armored guys you can defeat with your sword, but with one hit with the pod, but with the dungeon item, you can beat them in one hit, too, so. Remember that. Oh, this room I hate because these stupid guys here. I got the way. I think there's a key in here somewhere, I believe. I don't want to take that. Eh. Nope. You can go die. Oh, key. Where's the key? Key. 
Find the key, find the key, where's the beautiful key? That key was left here in the mausoleum. Oh no 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 You will not take my magic yet, jackass. But yeah, now we're up on this little scaffold here and going across the room. Now there's a little trick here they can do to try and get that pod and switch. Um do I wanna go for it? I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Okay, I do not want to die, so I'm not gonna go and take the risk anymore, so I'm just gonna go for her heart. Just take out these guys, because the chest won't appear once you kill all the enemies. I really don't want to die. Like I said, if I die, then I'll have a fairy and preserve which will heal. Seven hearts of oh jeez oh jeez oh jeez no 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 Here we got the big key which will open any of the locks that small keys can't and of course it will open the big chest because I do not want to die I do not want to die I do not want to die Oh jeez come on get the door <sighs> That was close I think I'll go get that fairy before I get the big chest and get the I'm gonna go grab a fairy, so I'll be right back. Okay, that didn't take too long. Now let's head over here and get the big chest, which will give us the bow and arrows. We can hold up to we can hold up to 30 arrows. As for the bombs, we can hold up to 10, I believe. These little freaking headless skull guys—they won't go away that easily. Go away. This key here will open up the door, the big key. And I'll equip the, the bow and arrows. Actually, I want to light up the room a little bit first, so let's get the lantern. Oh, red ruby, red ruby, red ruby. You can go die, and you can go die, and you. Um, I think I want to go in this room first, just to take a look. See what's in here. Money! Is it worth it though? Yes, it is. Money! Money! I don't care if I lose my magic, it's worth the money. Now, I at least want to have five, at least 500, maybe 550 rupees before I leave the dungeon, because there's an item we can get that can help us out a little bit later in the game. Well, it can help us out a lot. We can access places that we can't can access before. Ah, he hit me! I only hit me right into the buttons. So the freaking door closed. God dang it! Die. And you can go die. And you can go die. There are no lovers in this place. So there won't be any. There, so there won't be any. Pull the lever, Kronk. So that to the counter, but. Even though I just said that, I gotta add it to the counter anyway. <laughs> so yeah, expect that coming. Uh, do these guys that Yeah, they do! Yay! I know this guy can't die to a heart, to a pot, so I gotta get him with the bow and arrows. Two hit take this guy, takes this guy out. You can go die, you can go die, you. You and you. Oh jeez, I'm gonna take Jim here. But you can go die. Now, before I head into this door, which I probably believe leads to the boss, indeed it does, I'm going to save quick. Now let's continue. Here we go, then to the boss, the Armored Knights. Best way to beat these guys, just spam arrows. Ah, uh, you can all go and die. Ah. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna run out of arrows. 
No, I don't want to run out of arrows. You can you can use the sword too, but it kind of takes a while before they before they all, before they can die. Oh, we got another tough one here. Spam the arrows. Here we go, our first heart container. I'm gonna do that. Oh, I wanted to try and do this. Spin attack into the emblem. Oh well, we can do that in the next dungeon. You won the Pendant of Courage. Take it to take it to Sahasrila. Two pendants remain. <laughs> yeah! Da -da, da 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 You're all gonna die! Go and die, you stupid armo statues. I don't know why I'm singing again, but it's hopefully worth it, because I know you guys like me singing, but hopefully this will be the last song I make up. I don't know, though. So, you got the Pendant of Courage, and I shall tell you more of the legend. Generations ago, an order of knights protected the Hylian royalty. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the Pendant of Courage. It has been said that whoever, whatever disaster waylays the royal family, our hero shall emerge from the bloodline of the knights of Hyrule. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the great war against evil that took out took place when the seven sages created their seal. So it was the thought that a hero would never again emerge. Below, I believe, you are our hero, Link. Find the remaining pendants and carry this with you. It is a treasure passed down by the families of the sages. I want you to have it. And here we go, we get the Pegasus boots. The Pegasus shoes, whatever. An item that shall I do it. An item that shall I do is hidden in a cave on the east side of Lake Hylia. Go find it. And this is the item I was actually talking about. That's why I wanted to try and grind up some money. So I think I'm probably gonna grind up some money. I'll probably be quiet for a bit and mute my mic, so. So I can try to go grind up some money. So from so I guess I'll be quiet and next time I come back on my mic I'll meet you guys at Lake Hylia with some rupees.
Well, it appears that a giant boulder is blocking our way toward Lake Hylia, so I guess we can't get the item I was talking about. But I grind up some of the money for it, but we can't get it just yet. What are you gonna say, you witch? Devil, devil, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Making mushroom real I am. Oh, I almost forgot about this. I should have probably did this in the first episode, but I went past that area, but I never got the chance to. So I think I'm probably going to end up doing that and uh, probably try to track down some more heart, pe heart pieces. And maybe, I guess, uh, get that item, whatever it is, over there. And maybe start the next dungeon. I don't know, so... So I guess I'm probably going to head off to try and find that that little ingredient for the witch, so I'll see you guys when I come back with the item I'm looking for, which is probably going to show where it is, so... Because I'm going that way anyway, so I guess it won't matter. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, these woods here that's, that are on the map is the place where the Master Sword is. But there's also like some kind of like bandits who like steal, your, steal some of your items and some of your rupees, so be very careful in here. And during my travels while I was in the woods, I found the fourth piece of heart, which gave me another heart container. How lucky am I? Oh, and what do you have to say? Hey kid, this is a secret hideout for a gang of thieves. Don't enter without permission. By the way, I heard that one of our ex-members is staying at the entrance to the desert. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Here we go, this is the item we're looking for. This mushroom smells like sweet rotten fruit. You can give this to anyone who wants it. Oh yeah, one last thing I forgot to mention. There are some fake master swords in this forest that you can they can freaking get for a little funny text. This is it! The Master Sword! No, this can't be. Yeah, too bad. Too bad. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do the little save trick again, so I'll see you guys back at the Witch's Hut in Lake Hylia.
Okay guys, here I am back at the witch's hut. Hey, hey thank you, young man. Drop by the shop later for a special surprise. <laughs> okay then, weirdo. Alright, now what can we do now that we have the bow and arrows? I don't know if we can do all that much. I wish we could get the item I talked about before from like highly- Oh my god, there's a friggin' bomb! But yeah, while swiping at the grass, be careful of a little bomb that's- They could friggin- <laughs> They'll probably pop out out of nowhere. That can hurt you real bad. Oh, with the Pegasus boots. I don't know if there's anything else we can do. We can... We can ram into the tr That was too obvious. That was too obvious. Back in here, if you drop down in that hole, you can find a great fairy. I will see the ruins and comfort your weariness. Close your eyes and relax. Thank you, Miss Fairy. You know, just a little fairy fountain detour. Uh -huh, you can't get me. Nah, 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 nah. I cannot jump off that ledge. That is great. Okay, I just gotta go out the normal way then, I suppose. Dun, 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 dun. I guess there's not much I can do this episode. I don't know if there's any piece of heart I can get right now. Uh, I guess my only option is to head off to the next dungeon. So I guess I'm going to end up... Di Hold on a minute, where am I right now? I'm just outside outside of Kakariko Village. So I think if I do the save trick and go back to my house, I can get to or the desert easily. But we got to go to Kakariko, Vil Kakariko Village anyway, because there's an item I, need I mentioned back in the first episode that we could get when we had a certain item. The Pegasus Boots is the item we had to get to get the item here. Let's just zoom on our way down. Oh yeah, just keep a lookout for the trees and just ram into some of them. They can probably have rupees or maybe a swarm of bees, so just be careful of that. But anyway, here in the library, as I went here in the last episode, we can find this little book if you ram into the bookcase. Do -do 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 -do. The book comes down. Here we go, we got the Book of Medora. You can use it to read the ancient language of the Hylia. This item is very important to us because we kind of need that book to get into the next dungeon here in the desert, which has the pendant of wisdom, I believe that is. And then Death Mountain is the pendant of power, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna just zoom my way toward the desert, the desert palace. That's the name of the next dungeon. That's oh geez, there's another bomb. <laughs> but yeah, I, I didn't need the save trick. I could could have just zoomed toward the desert fairly easily. Dude, oh, oh dang, I missed the shiny rock. I could have gotten more money that way. Darn it. Oh well, I ain't complaining. I can make plenty of money. I can make plenty of rupees. Just gotta be careful not to go into the water. Just zoom our way down here. Go down this way. Oh, you stupid. Darn friggin' birds. Ooh, shiny rock! More money! But yeah, that little guy on the on the on that rock there can give you more money too if you. Oh, apparently, we can't lift any of the boulders here yet. Da 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 da. I'm just an average guy. Do not speak to me. Do not remove this sign. Okay. Anyway, let's make our way here into the desert toward the toward the desert palace here. And yay, more landmines that I gotta deal with. And sand monsters, what else is new? We approach this little table here. 
Don't forget about the Book of, book of Midura. To open the way forward, make out your wish here and it will be granted. So let our blocks our way out of here, but... Anywho, we will start the next dungeon next time, so... This has been Matthew the Skunk, I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Skunk, over and out.